All right, so today we're gonna have a race. Ask yourself, what is one of the most common things that you have to do on a daily occurrence if you're out doing a camping trip, touring around Australia? I'll tell you what, it's probably letting down your tires. So having the right tire deflator is crucial and some take forever, some are really quick and then some are just damn right not accurate at all. For a long period of time, we've been running these Storm deflators. These things are trialed, proven, tested. One thing these deflators lack though is a pressure indication on the thread itself. So sometimes we go to gravel, we'll drop the tires to say 30 psi, and then if we go to sand, we need to drop them to 15 psi. With the storms, they're limited because once you set them at your preset setting, you've only got one setting there available. So for a long time, the camp boss deflators uh, have been the best ones to get because unlike the storms, they actually have a pressure indication panel on the side pressed into the thread itself. So you can set whatever pressures you want and then lock it down and put these on the tire. Today, I'm gonna to be testing a new set of deflators and these ones are actually from iCheck. So iCheck are a small Australian made company. They have created what they say is the best deflator for Australia because they're quick and they're accurate. So a lot of the times when things are quick means they're really inaccurate. So today we're gonna to be having a race. We're gonna be testing these deflators, seeing for time as well as accuracy. So we're not gonna just do one test, we're gonna do this five times. So we get a nice average look and how they perform. So let's open up the iCheck little package here. So these are the deflators, this is how they come. They come in like one of the old tobacco cases, really cool. The case is hardy, so it's gonna last. And on the back, Sam from iCheck uh, has actually been nice enough to write what he recommends on gravel roads, on sand roads. So if you are a novice to full driving, this is a cheat sheet on the back of the deflators, which is genius. It tells you exactly what pressures to run in specific applications. So for gravel roads, he recommends 26 to 30 PSI. Corrugations 25, sand 15 to 20. Recovering vehicles 6 to 10 PSI, which is pretty relevant. And also, as you open it up, there your deflators there, it comes with four. They come in like a nice foam place, so they all go back in the way they came out. Uh, and also instructions on how to use them. So it literally tells you exactly how to set these up for whatever pressures. It's really straightforward. I'll show you in a minute. If you forget, it's always here. Another really good thing about them for me, I always lose black caps um, off your Schroeder valves in the sand, on the gravel, on the bitumen, because black blends into things. Sam has actually made these bright red, so you can't lose them. You see them on the ground and stuff, you pick them up when you, and you find them. So you'll never lose these in the dirt ever again. So I really like that, I think it's ingenious. And there's a few other little things internally in these deflators, which we'll get into soon. All right, so let's talk a bit about price, because obviously that comes into it. So a quick Google shows that the Storm tire deflators are $79. The Campos actually come out as most expensive. They're $125. And then the iCheck deflators, they're coming in at $79. So the same as the Storm deflators. So very affordable. So yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know the price. With our 10% off, you're saving $7.90. So with my crappy maths, it'll be about $72 for a set of these, which means they come in the cheapest out of all the three. This one's slightly different to the Cam Boss, but it does have some increments on the side here. So hopefully the camera's focusing in nicely. It's 30 PSI, but we want to be at 20 PSI. So what I'm going to do is wind that lock ring out, unscrew it so the 20 now lines up. There's the 20 mark. Screw the lock ring down to that. And there we go, we're set on 20 PSI. Simple as that. So. I'll do the same with the camp boss one, and then we'll get ready for the race. We're ready for the race. Sarah's gonna be on the left-hand side of Leroy the Land Cruiser with the iCheck deflators. I'm gonna be on the right with the camp boss. We're gonna start at the exact same time. I'm gonna put a timer on the screen so you guys see how long it takes for both runs. And as soon as Sarah's side's finished deflating, she's gonna put her hand up to signal that she's finished and vice versa, so we're gonna actually test the accuracy with a tire pressure gauge and see how close to the mark they got. So we've set them both on 20 PSI. We've pumped the tires up both to 40, which I'll show you now. I've done a cross reference between the ARB gauge as well as the iCheck gauge. So I've, I've, I've made sure they're both 40 PSI. All right, I'm on. Come on.
Wait a sec, mine's already cut out. Cut. So as you've seen there guys, the camp boss deflator cut out well earlier to set PSI. Immediately I jumped to the conclusion that I set the deflator up wrong. Very fine. So you can make a turn, half a turn or a quarter of a turn, and it can change the PSI that comes out of your tire. I've checked everything I've gone on the Jace Andrews Camp Boss website and I've set it up the same way he has, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, it's cutting out like at 33 psi, so it's only let 7 psi out of the tyres. So after eliminating human error from the equation, we decided to test the other three deflators left in the pack. The results we got were roughly the same. The best deflator cut out at 26 psi, 6 psi above the set pressure. Alright, so for the purpose of this test, we did go out and buy a camp boss set of deflators. For some reason, it keeps cutting out. We don't know why, but it seems like there's dodgy because it's still leaking air out now, I'll show you. So does that mean it's still deflating if the air's slightly coming out? So that's a massive bummer. I was really hoping to do a test and, and do this properly, but I know this is probably just a dodgy set, I guess. I'm, I've read other reviews saying they're, some are good, so obviously not everyone's got a dodgy set. I don't know what's going on with this set. Um, I've pulled it apart, cleaned it up, just trying to troubleshoot as best I can with it, but it doesn't seem to be playing the game. So yeah, I don't know what to say, but uh, we'll do a test on the eye checks um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how quick they deflate. Ready? Just a speed run on this and see the accuracy of this. So back to 40 PSI, I'll we'll screw this on and start the timer. <laughs> Let's check the accuracy first. All right, so we'll unscrew this now. Twenty point zero five. So we're half a psi out. That's pretty bloody good, if you ask me. That's that's amazing accuracy. Um, and yeah, we'll do a few more runs, we'll get a bit of a speed average, and then we'll also get an accuracy average as well, and we'll let you know. Speed test number five, um, we've almost got an average on accuracy as well, can't wait, but we'll get this one done. So I'll start the timer now. Two minutes 46. So here we have it guys, these are our results. As you can see, I've put it into this high-tech spreadsheet. So the top, the camp boss did not finish. I didn't think it was fair to race these against the eye checks because of course they're gonna be faster if they're only letting 10 PSI out of the tires. The time it took to decrease 20 PSI out of our tires was around that three minute mark some just below and some after, and the accuracy was pretty on point. We did see fluctuations of around one PSI, and also that third test being 1.5 PSI out, I think that was user error. I flicked the lock ring as I was tightening it onto the stem, so maybe that's my fault, which does happen out in the bush as well. All in all, I think they're quite good results. However, quite disappointed that I couldn't test them against something. So if you do have a camp boss set out there, if you do get a day where it's around 18 to 20 degrees ambient and you do have a 295 70 17 tire and want to test it against my times, the size of the tire and the ambient temperature of the day definitely impacts the speed in which tires deflate. So keep that in mind. All right, so the top of that's the spring size in the eye check one. And then let's have a look at the spring size in the camp boss one. It's made out of a totally different, see the spring size? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like twice as big a gauge in the eye check one and I think that's why it's so accurate. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do the test between Camp Boss and the eye check. I wish we could have. I did promise you a test. So what I'm gonna do is test the Storm, which is the old faithful proven technology against the eye check. I like to think that these are literally the exact same quality. Um, the only better thing, the eye check actually has the measurements on the side. Let's get on to the race. Let's race the Storm versus the new improved iCheck deflator. All right, so 
Sarah's got the eye check, I've got the Storm, both at 40 PSI, I've checked them twice. So let's get into it, see which one's quicker. You ready to go, Sarah? Yeah. As soon as I saw Sarah put her hand up, I fucking put my hand up. So on the channel, we always like to test the products before we promote it to you guys. So we don't let you know we've got it until we've tested it and we're happy. If you do want to get your hands on the set, uh, we do have 10% off SKT10. We'll get you 10% off store wide. because They're super accurate, super fast, um, and I love the red color. You won't be able to lose them in the dirt. We've been running the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system, all around Australia for over a year now. All iCheck stuff is very high quality and the way they work is they take average products and they take all the problems out of things, reinvent the wheel and then give you an even better products and eliminate all the problems that you had before. And the storms are great, um, but like I said, biggest letdown is actually not having any indication on the side. So these are very dynamic and you can change them on the go. So another really good thing about iCheck is that, that it's a small Australian business which we like to support. Sam owns it, he's a one man band operating out of Victoria. It's coming up to, we're gonna be doing an eye check giveaway. So we're gonna be giving away a tire pressure monitoring system worth over $330, but you have to be subscribed to the channel. So when we do that, we'll notify you, but if you're not subscribed, you're not gonna win. So go ahead and do that. Keep on the lookout for the giveaway. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, SKT10 for 10% off, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, legends.